Exactly! That rule's been gone since 2013. But these idiots who don't seem to be able to see past their own noses will then start picking out rules from the other formats and try and apply it to VGC. In the penalty guideline, it says that you, you, if you do that, you get punished. Yes, because that, that tells the staff how to deal with people breaking that rule. Where does the rule exist? TCG, not VGC. So, when people break that rule in the TCG, the staff know how to deal with it. Because you know what? In the penalty guideline, it says that I am not allowed to fiddle with your cards. I'm gonna fiddle with your VGC cards, mate! I'm gonna get on my hands up on your VGC cards! Oh, well, apparently it applies to both! I'm gonna use a weighted coin! In VGC, I'm gonna bring a weighted coin to VGC. Oh, does that only apply to the trading card game? Why is that? Is it because that rule exists in the trading card game and not in VGC? Oh! No, I I do that. Like you can you can tell my YouTube video is different to my stream. Like on my YouTube video, I will go on and on, but in my stream, I go on and on. But my YouTube video, I just put the point across. That's what people need to understand, though. Yeah, I'm gonna touch all your VGC cards. I'm gonna mess with them. I'm gonna nick some of your VGC cards. Likewise, I'm gonna bring hacked Pokemon cards to a tournament. <laughs> all them hacked illegal cards. My, my, I got a hacked card that is 5 IV. Shiny. It's, it's, a, it's a hacked hollow. Reverse hollow. It's a hacked reverse hollow. I'm bringing that. I'm bringing that to, to the trading card game right now. 